Right now, more on our breaking news out of Forest Grove, a garage fire that has left two firefighters hurt. Jennifer Dowling just arrived on scene and is there now. Jen, what can you tell us? Jeff Jennifer, the fire broke out just after four o'clock in the garage of the home behind me here on Ridge Point Drive. And firefighters here tell me that neighbors actually called it in. They heard some pops next door and investigated and discovered that that garage was on fire. Uh, firefighters rushed out here to try to take care of uh, the situation. They contained the fire to the garage. Two firefighters were injured, however, after some cardboard and other storage items fell on them from a shelf that was uh, on the sea. Uh, built into the ceiling. Apparently, according to fire officials, these larger homes with vaulted ceilings often have storage space above their garages, and that's when stuff uh, fell on the firefighters. Uh, you can actually see on the lawn out here some cardboard that uh, the fire crews have stacked up. Uh, well, the spokesperson for Forest Grove Fire and Rescue tells us that that was some of the items that fell. They believe while they were fighting the fire in the garage, uh, the cardboard got heavy and caused the shelves to fall. One firefighter was knocked down, uh, but he was okay. He was pulled out, and he's being uh, checked out at a local hospital, along with another firefighter who had an ankle injury after the items fell. The stuff wasn't on fire when it fell. However, uh, they wanted to take precautions. They sent him to the hospital to get checked out, even though they believe those injuries are minor. Now, as for any explosions in the garage, uh, we're told that perhaps it was paint cans or uh, maybe a, a gas uh, tank, not on a car, but uh, maybe just a portable uh, gas tank that might have ex sounded like it exploded or popped, but there was no massive explosion. They're still trying to determine exactly uh, what caused this fire, but again, contained in the garage. That's good news. Uh, two firefighters injured, but only minor injuries, and they are at the hospital right now getting checked out. Back to you in the studio. Okay, good to hear about the firefighters. No uh, severe injuries there, but certainly a story will continue to follow. And looking at